Today we're going to look at the half kneeling press. We're going to look at why the half kneeling press is a good option. Um, and we're going to look at some of the cues around the setup positions. Um, and we're going to look at a couple of variations, a regression and one progression. Um, so today, this is a, sorry, this is the first um, variation. It's a landmine press, a great option for people who struggle with overhead mobility because the angle is a little bit more forgiving as we're pressing a little bit more forward rather than directly upright. Same principles go with the setup though. Um, we're looking for that 90 degree bend on the first knee. We're looking for that narrow stance. Um, toes engaged on the back foot, squeezing the glute, keeping the ribs pulled in, head neutral. So we're, we're looking for all those same um, setup cues, um, but it's just the only difference is the angle that we're actually pressing in is a little bit more forgiving than our traditional kind of kettlebell or dumbbell um, straight up and down press. So moving on to the next variation, we've got the kettlebell um, half kneeling press. Um, we'll just go over some of the little setup. So if we look, uh, I get into the half kneeling um, position. Um, on the front, we're looking to engage the arch of the foot. So we're splaying our toes into the ground, squeezing um, the arch of our foot. On the back foot, we've got the toes engaged. So we're getting a big stretch um, through that uh, big toe and the base of the foot uh, by putting our big toe into extension. So for people who so uh, struggle with um, extending their big toes and lifting their big toe into their shin. This can be a good little um, weighted stretch, isometric, isometric kind of stretch um, during this movement. You can see in this angle where I'm straight on, the, the base is narrow. This provides a fairly unstable position to press from. So this means that we have to um, uh, create a lot more tension in our torso, uh, in our glutes and our hips to stabilize our uh, base to press on. And this is why that it has kind of such good carryover into um, sports, but you know, good, good kind of development of the core and stabilization in the hips, uh, trunk, and shoulders. Uh, the last variation we'll see we go side on, um, and this is kind of a spicy little variation that we could use for from assistance work. Um, it's a bottoms up half kneeling kettlebell press, so great for grip, elbow, and shoulder stabilization. And you can see that the um, I'm, uh, I'm trying to keep my glutes engaged as much as possible. So we're in a nice amount of hip extension on the kneeling side, and we're squeezing those glutes, all right, as hard as we can the whole time. So we're keeping everything from the knee up to the glute, up to the shoulder, nice and in line in that neutral position, creating as much tension as possible throughout to, so that all that force that we're generating is driving up into the belt. And you can see this last, um, last option uh, from the front position. Again, squeezing that armpit on the other side, squeezing the fist on the other side, again, it all adds to that kind of full body tension, that process of irradiation to get as much force into the bell as possible. Um, so I hope you've found this, this video helpful. Uh, go and have a read of the, the blog post that is attached to this video and we go into some of the details about what the benefits are of this exercise.